In this video, I'm going to show you how I cleared Forbidden Dungeon level 91, 200 with 100 including using Kai, one of the rares you get at the start of the game. She's a monster. All the fights will have timestamps in the video, so make sure you jump to the one you're stuck on. But let's talk about the equipment on Kai. Kai is very easy to develop. You can get her to 6 star awaken with half of the resources on the legendary heroes. I'm not gonna lie, I have Bedivir Chivalry 8, and I didn't use him. I wanted to have a challenge, because Bedivir is so powerful, there's no other option. He's basically too strong. If you have Bedivir, you might as well use him. But if you don't, you can use Kai. As you can see, her passives are not maxed out. However, when it comes to her relic, we're gonna use the Storm Relic and try to max out this skill. This will grant you an extra 80% attack damage Per the use, and this is what we will spam in this dungeon. You need you need a single target damage. When it comes to the equipment, I try to get a her equipment to plus 12 and build her with solid attack and critical sets. I didn't build, as you can see, I didn't even put the banner on. I forgot, totally skipped my mind, and I, so I did it without the banners. Uh, but what we want here, we want a strife set if you can get your hands on it. Or focus, but stri strife set is so easy to craft, you can go with it. Her stats are really bad, I only have 3,500 attack, 55% crit rate and some critical strike damage. But there are a few things that we really want on her, we want critical strike or critical damage earrings and we want heat accuracy orb. This will allow us to constantly hit these uh, enemies because the higher you get, the higher the probability of you missing. There are other three heroes who will be a core here. The first one is Morgan. Morgan Chivalry 3 is what makes it tech. I got her to Chivalry 5 uh, recently, but it just makes her faster, okay? But Chivalry 3 is where you will become a powerful uh, monster, really, because <laughs> with that you can spam skill 2, and that's what we will do. We will spam skill 2 on the flame weapon. That's what we're going to use, the flame relic, and we're going to keep spamming that. If you have a chance to max this skill out, as you can see, I was quite lucky, it will help you as well because it will grant you a 70% chance to remove the attack gouge by 10% and you can hit it three times, so 30% attack gouge removal. When it comes to the equipment, Morgan will be built with Vigor set and accuracy. We are looking for between 60 to 80% effect accuracy. We don't need to hit to apply the debuffs, okay? Only effect accuracy is what we need, but we're also looking at as much attack speed as possible. And my attack speed is rather low. The best way to get attack speed is obviously through the rings and through the orb as well. And as you can see, I'm not even using a keepsake bonus because it's not needed on Morgan. Another mandatory is Merlin. If you want to have easy time going through these stages, you need an AoE crowd control. It can be Morgan, Morgan uh, Storm if you purchase the relic. It can be any of the rare heroes that have AoE uh, crowd control. But why Merlin is so good? Because on top of that, he's got other utility. And um, so, as you can see, I try to get this level up to freeze rate plus 20%. If you don't have that, this will be rather hard because you will have only 35% chance, which means it's still doable. There's a chance you will miss. Okay, so that's the thing. Even with 55%, it's not always guaranteed to freeze. But you have that chance twice because he attacks two times. Merlin equipment, once again, accuracy and vigor. We want to be able to spam his skill 3 constantly. So we will be casting Merlin's third skill for AoE freeze, Morgan's second skill to remove attack gauge, and Kai's second skill to deal single target damage. Again, on Merlin, we want attack speed where we can, and effect accuracy above 60% is good enough. Next heroes are flexi picks. The reason why they are flexi picks, if the enemies are not immune to crowd control, abnormal statuses, you don't really need healing because they will not do any damage to you. However, if they're not, then you will need a healer, preferably someone with single, uh, with attack one good healing, and you can use Jillian here um, in the with the fire relic. We just want to use her for the single target heal and trigger her passive, so her passive will have a chance to remove 30% um, of the attack gauge of the enemies. 
If you don't have Jillian, another great option is Sarah. Sarah's passive allows her to uh, remove two debuffs from our allies as well as at uh, do buff disruption and attack gauge disruption so that's very useful and as i said you don't really need the healing she will you will not take any damage if you manage to freeze your enemies and um, moving forward there's also another flexi pick so if your enemies are immune to crowd control that's when you will replace merlin and you will put in Sergius. Sergius is available in the arena. Don't miss on him. You only need one copy to get him. And then you can purchase his fire weapon from the guild shop. Uh, you can still use this one. You'll be spamming skill free though. So you will be spamming and recharging at all allies at a gouge by 25%. So as you can see, instead of freezing, we're going to make sure our heroes are having turns faster. But the preferable weapon is this one, Trusted Warrior, as this will grant you 40%. Plus, if you manage to level this skill, you'll get 60%. But look at this. I tried that. And I got four levels into skill one. <laughs> and that's just pure luck right but yeah that's basically another flexi pick that you will use here also there is one fight that will require dot heroes this is where anguish comes in play or you can also use uh lancelot as he will grant you 20 percent attack speed aura depending who you have to make it easier now coming back to Sergius, I forgot to mention his equipment. Uh, you can use attack speed set and accuracy. If you have extra set of vigor, that will come in handy as it will allow you to spam his skill free easily. Uh, once again, if you go with fire weapon, you don't need effect accuracy as you will not be applying any debuffs. But if you really want to apply his passive, which is the focus thingy, uh, you can basically get some effect accuracy as well. For the stage 97, you will need those heroes, so you want Vigor set and accuracy on them to make sure they can apply the debuffs, and because otherwise it will take longer and you might time out. Remember, Forbidden Dungeon has between 100 and 120 turns limit, so this is why we want this effect accuracy to be able to apply as many debuffs as possible. So that's pretty much it when it comes to equipment and heroes needed for these stages. Obviously, there are different ways to deal with it, but if you have those heroes, it will be just so easy. You can play totally auto. And I'm going to run this fight for you now with some music in the background and a text explanation of what we're doing. This, these fights were actually the same in the previous season of this Forbidden Dungeon. So let's have a look what I've done and what you should be aiming to do, because these stages are not that hard, especially if you started in the early access. Creeping up from the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feel. I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in fate, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind no kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb
hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.